like me guessing I ain't got no beef, no enemies. Call all my haters, motivators, cause they can't touch me. Been in this business for a minute, that's a long time. If you was looking for me, you can find me on my grind. I'm on a mission, no competition for this rap king. They bet you took my crown and must have happened in your dreams. Greetings, you who? I like knowing you back at you from my hat, the Green Thumb Garden Channel, right here in Grow Zone 8B in Tifton, Georgia. And in this evening's video, YouTube. In this evening's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys along with me back over to Ginger Valley, where in this video, YouTube, I will indeed be showing you guys how to extract the shampoo from the pine cones that grow on pine cone shampoo ginger plants. You can see we have those hugely developed pine cones right here, YouTube. There are indeed a couple of ways to go um, about extracting the shampoo from the cones of these particular plant here YouTube we only um, use one of those basic ways to um, extract that shampoo from the pine cones but for the purpose of this video YouTube we will indeed show you guys both methods the first method involves completely removing the pine cone from the stalk that it grows on and extracting the shampoo from it the second method um, consists of leaving the pine cone on the plant and extracting it and leaving it on the plant for the purpose of continuously harvesting shampoo you can harvest the shampoo from these pine cones time after time after time you do or you can just again remove the entire pine cone extract the shampoo once and be done with it i again uh prefer to use the uh, method where i leave the pine cone on the plant so that we can continuously harvest the shampoo from it so I'm going to show you that first method now where we remove the um, pine cone Then I'll show you guys the second method where we actually leave the pine cone on the plant and extract the shampoo Hang tight YouTube Alright YouTube, like, as I told you guys in the previous clip, the first method um, involves completely removing the uh, pine cone itself from the plant We'll do that um, as close to ground level down there as possible YouTube um, we don't want to leave just the um, a bare stalk uh, sticking up here in our planter here. So we'll try to move, uh, do that as close to ground level as possible, YouTube. We do have down in there another cane from our pine cone shampoo ginger coming up behind where our stalk is located at down in there, YouTube. So we'll use this particular pine cone shampoo ginger uh, cone and show you how to um, extract our um, shampoo and leave this one on the plant. We'll actually remove that one back there from the plant and show you the second uh, method of um, harvesting the um, shampoo from your pine cone shampoo ginger cones. Hang tight, you two. As you guys can see, I have my a clean bowl here. I'm just going to place it here on this um, board beneath my. The cone of my pine cone uh, shampoo ginger blossom here, YouTube. I'm gonna lean that down over here, over our bowl. And all we're gonna do, YouTube, to extract this shampoo from this cone is give this cone a firm squeeze. You'll find if you're growing this in your yard that this cone is quite um, uh, flexible. And the moment that you begin to actually squeeze this cone, YouTube, you will see the shampoo begin to emerge from the cone. Take a look at this, guys. You guys see that? That is our shampoo uh, from our pine cone shampoo ginger plant. We're gonna just squeeze this, as you can see, quite the amount of liquid, YouTube, quite the amount of shampoo is emerging from our pine cone, YouTube. And if I had smell of vision I would show you guys how good this stuff smells, YouTube. I can't tell you, it's like I'm spraying perfume out here in the air right now YouTube but again this first method involves leaving the pine cone on the plant squeezing it and extracting the liquid you're not hurting this cone at all by doing this YouTube trust me this cone will regenerate this same liquid in a couple of days you can come out here and do the exact same thing again YouTube just simply give it a gentle squeeze and it will indeed release its shampoo. As you guys can see we have quite the amount of liquid in our bowl down there, YouTube. And 
now that we're done we're gonna kind of push our cone back up in place youtube that is what our cone looks like after the um shampoo extraction youtube and this is the amount of shampoo that we extracted from that one cone youtube as you can see we have about a quarter of a bowl of shampoo from that particular pine cone youtube i'm gonna place this liquid over here on my porch right now temporarily I'm gonna grab my trusty machete here, YouTube. Come back over in here, and I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see the shot as I chop this second pine cone. Uh, blossom off of our plants here, YouTube, but here it goes. Give that a gentle chop there. There we go. Get that up out of the soil down there, YouTube. All right, YouTube, this will give you guys a better view of how I go about extracting the shampoo from our pine cone shampoo ginger blossom here. As you can see, it has those beautiful flowers on it, YouTube. Again, just a gentle squeeze, YouTube, and watch this. Can you guys see the amount of shampoo that is being released from this cone? with just the gentleness of a squeeze, YouTube. We have about a half of a bowl of shampoo currently already, YouTube. It's a 32 ounce container we have here on our porch, YouTube. And since we have indeed removed this particular blossom from our plants down there, we're gonna give this guy a good, good squeeze to make sure we get all of the shampoo out of it. And as you can see, it's just pouring out, YouTube lots and lots and lots of shampoo as you can see it's bubbly and sudsy youtube that's why it is indeed called shampoo pine cone shampoo ginger this is our spent pine cone from our pine cone shampoo ginger so we're going to toss that over there in the corner can look at my hands it's completely drenched youtube in this shampoo from our pine cone shampoo ginger and uh, i'm trying to compare this to a fragrance smell something that it smells similar to youtube um uh, it's citrusy it kind of has that um cedar smell you get from a pine cone uh, with maybe uh, a hint of uh, pear or something like that, YouTube. It really has a very, very, very fragrant and pleasant smell here, YouTube. And as you can see, again, we have about a half a bowl of shampoo here. We're going to take our shampoo inside, YouTube. Filter it, filter it out to remove any um, particles that you see floating here in it. And get it um, vial up in some of our smaller um, vials that we have in the house. We'll bring you guys back after we do that and show you what it looks like all um, bottled up, YouTube. Hang tight. Greetings, YouTube. And we're back uh, here inside our, our recording studio, YouTube. I'm going to swing this camera around for you guys right now and give you guys a peek at both our pine cone shampoo ginger shampoo that we just harvested from our pine cone shampoo ginger out at Ginger Valley. And also a look at the uh, moringa powder that we harvested during our very first uh, moringa harvest out in our front yard garden extended grow area. Hang tight. All right, YouTube. Here we are, as you can see, um, with our pine cone shampoo, ginger shampoo from our previous harvest. We showed you guys how we went about harvesting this shampoo from our pine cones out at uh, Ginger Valley out there, YouTube. We have um, here several um, vials um, jarred up here, uh, YouTube. And if you guys are interested in obtaining some of our shampoo from our ginger plants, YouTube, please contact us at the email address in the description beneath this video. And we'll give you guys instructions on how to go about ordering your sample of our pine cone shampoo ginger shampoo from our pine cone shampoo ginger plants out at Ginger Valley, YouTube. We have um, several vials um here um already packaged up youtube we have about this much more youtube that we haven't jarred up yet and um again if you guys are inter interested in purchasing some of our pine cone shampoo ginger shampoo please contact us at, us at the email address in the description beneath this video 
And this YouTube, this is indeed our Moringa powder from our very first Moringa harvest out um, in our Front Yard Garden Extended Grow Area YouTube. And as you can see, this stuff looks fantastic, YouTube. And if you don't know anything about Moringa, the miracle tree, do your research, YouTube. There's, there's 100 plus videos on YouTube right now pertaining to Moringa and its benefits. Um, it's not called the miracle tree for nothing, YouTube. If you guys are interested in, in any way in um, obtaining some of our Moringa powder, you can also obtain some of our Moringa powder by contacting us at the email address in the description beneath this video YouTube. And we will ship the, our Moringa powder and or our shampoo from our pine cone shampoo ginger out to you guys via GT Plants and Crafts. That's our store where we sell our seeds, plants, crafts, etc. YouTube. At any rate, YouTube, this is indeed what our shampoo <clears throat> from our pine cone shampoo ginger plants out at Ginger Valley is indeed looking like after the harvest this stuff smells so great YouTube I can't even begin to describe to you guys how well it smells it can be used as a conditioner a shampoo a moisturizer a hand cream uh, so many different things YouTube you can apply this to minor cuts and burns to soothe minor cuts and burns YouTube it has a variety of uses at any rate YouTube if indeed you currently are watching this video and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Garden channel, please indeed take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure, YouTube, be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Yeah, YouTube, harvesting shampoo from our pine cone shampoo ginger plants out at Ginger Valley. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Yes, and I ain't got no beef, no enemies. Call all my haters, motivators, cause they can't touch me. Been in this business for a minute, that's a long time. If you was looking for me, you can find me on my grind. I'm on a mission, no competition for this rap. King, the bet you took my crown and must have happened in your dreams. I'm about to make the world feel me like the last time. So I'm the microphone smoke when I say what's on my mind. It was a years ago when I first hit the rap scene. It was 2019 and I got the whole world listening. They gather around me to keep me one from all the shit I bring. And I tell you some so why y'all haters are they're hating me. Why y'all hating? 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 And the world against me, so I came up with a different plan. No more nine to five working for the other man. And don't trust the media, my destiny is in my hand. Then came a long way from where this lion first began. Won't let nobody make me hate the color of my skin. No matter where we're from, America is where we live. And I hear this and others, but I'ma tell it like it is. Everybody say they praying for some better days. But this world will never change until we stop the hate. Why y'all hate?